What's going on everybody, Nobori here. Today we're gonna to be going over my Gideon building guide. This is called Space Oddity. We got a health potion, two cast token, a mana potion, Solaris Reactor we have two, Shadow Ward we have two, Elder Mage Amulet we have one, and a Magus Ward. First off, we're gonna start here with two cast tokens and a mana potion. You can also use a health potion if you see fit. The first skill you want to get is Cosmic Rift. This would be a great long range poke early game. And as you can see here, boom, 102 damage. Damn, dude, what the hell are you swatting at? Almost three minutes into the match, we see that enemy team Chimera is trying to steal our jungle. That cheeky little bastard. Well, cheeky all over this. I'm going to hit you with a burden, hit you with the Cosmic Rift, and we're going to back up so you can't hit me with your unleash skill. As my teammates get pushed back by the enemy team Halter, I'm going to hit him one more time, and we're going to take him out for that first blood. Ooh. Now that we have three points to spend, let's get our magical ass back to base here. You can either get a Magus Ward if you need some wards, but right now I'm going to go with Solaris Reactor. In the Solaris Reactor, we're going to put a major cast. This will leave us with 39 energy damage and 60.6 .6 mana regeneration. Now let's check out how much damage Cosmic Rift will be doing currently. We're going to hit the enemy team Halter for 170 damage. Damn, but he gets away. But don't worry, Halter, we'll be in those cheeks soon. Our next upgrade on the Solaris Reactor is going to be a major cast, leaving us with 58.5 energy damage. Nothing exciting happened, so let's finish off our Solaris Reactor with a major cast, leaving us at 91 damage. Shortly after, we took down mid tower, but let's go right back to base and get our next upgrade. Our next card is going to be Shadow Scroll. This will get us 6.5 energy damage and 16 energy penetration. Since we have 3 points to spend, we're going to get a cast and a minor cast, leaving us with 117 energy damage. Ooh, what do we got here? We got a team fight going on in the left lane. Oh yeah, give me some of this action. We're going to go over here, hopefully sneak up behind him, but I see that the enemy team Twin Blast is coming through this side here. We're going to hit him with a Burden and a Cosmic Rift for 355 damage. Oh my lord. We're going to secure the kill there with Murdoch and get him that kill on the enemy team. We're going to pop our ultimate, so Muriel can't get away, and yes, that was a double kill. Woo. Let's finish off our Shadow Scroll with a Major Shock. This will give us some energy penetration and energy damage. But we have three points to spend, so let's get another Shadow Scroll. This will leave us with 136.5 energy damage and 80 energy penetration. Now, energy penetration is great even if people aren't building armor. Everybody has base armor for both affinities. However, even though someone is not going to be building any armor in this match against me, it will still be effective because you don't really lose that much damage with building it in this but just in case if someone does you'll have 128 energy penetration nothing but farming has been going on so let's finish our shadow scroll here with a major shock a cast and a minor cast this will leave us with 169 energy damage and 128 energy penetration let's go right over here and check out what we can do with the howitzer damage wise we're gonna drop a cosmic rift right on his head oh shit the sky's falling 419 damage get rocked our next three points if you haven't already a magus ward we're going to remove our cast token here and get a magus ward this will give us some wards two wards to be exact 6.5 energy damage and 75 extra mana now with this build you don't really need that much mana but we're going to put a basic mana in here get rid of our other cast token and get another basic mana these in turn will get you basically two cosmic rifts we're going to get real sneaky with gideon here sneaking up on the enemy team dropping a cosmic rift on both howie and the enemy team grim for 400 12 damage we're going to teleport up here to get a little bit closer as the enemy team drops down here into a team fight we're going to get right in here we don't have enough mana for a teleport to teleport up but we're going to use our ultimate to suck everybody into our ultimate here we're going to slay someone there and we're going to take out the enemy team muriel here with our cosmic rift for 412 damage and another basic attack um ground control this is gideon um we're at five kills and four assists let's go now that the stardust has settled we have nine points to spend here we're going to get a basic mana and put it back in our magus ward to fill it out for 300 mana next we're going to get our other card here i'm going to start building some more damage here with solaris reactor if you need b you can actually start your elder mage amulet if you need health at the moment but in this we're going to get rid of our mana potion and we're going to put one of our major casts in here and another major cast leaving us with 214.5 energy damage our right side tower needed some help as the enemy team was pushing this lane twin blast is going to back up here but we're going to play ring around the solar system here with the enemy team howitzer we're going to drop a cosmic rift on his head as 
he gets shielded by Muriel for 325 damage. Goodbye, sir. We're going to keep chasing down the enemy team Muriel here. We're going to stop her dead in her tracks as she's running away. She's going to take a look back. Bad choice. Bad choice. We're hitting her for 160 damage on a basic attack. We're going to miss our Cosmic Rift here, but we can hit her with one more basic attack and take her out for our seventh kill. Shortly after, we found Twin Blast with his pants down as we're waiting in the invisible pool. We're going to hit him with a Burdum to slow him down. Drop a Cosmic Rift on his head for 464 damage as our teammate takes him out. Let's go. That was dirty. As we're pushing this tower, we're going to eventually take it out. I'm hitting it for 163 damage as the enemy team converges on our position here. I'm going to drop a Cosmic Rift right here for 464 damn damage as I pop up and get my ultimate going on. Hit all three of the enemies here. Slow them down as my teammate takes out the tower. Thank goodness I'm going to hit the enemy team halter with a burden to slow them down and a basic damage there. Take them out. I missed my Cosmic Rift on Muriel. Teleport forward as a teammate takes her out with our nine points to spend let's finish our solaris reactor this will in turn give us 247 energy damage but with this finish we don't necessarily need mana potions anymore because of the mana regeneration and the mana on the magus ward we're also going to pick up an elder mage amulet with a greater healthness leaving us with 400 extra health and 6.5 energy damage nothing too fancy and we're going to miss guess where the halter was going to go here with our cosmic rift but we're going to drop down here to the jungle hit him with a basic attack and we're going to take him out for our 10th kill teleport back in here as our teammates take out the enemy teammates in middle lane last but not least we have six points to spend so let's finish off our elder mage amulet with two greater houses to leave us with 3,000 health shortly after the enemy team surrendered but we got to finish our build so it is a good day if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more paragon content be sure to drop a like so i know to do so if you guys are new to my channel be sure to subscribe so you guys know when i post new content what other heroes would you guys like to see next? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys think of this build if you guys get a chance to try it. If you guys need alternatives to items in this deck that you guys don't have, let me know and I can make suggestions in the comments below as quickly as I can. But until next time, I hope the CXP is always in your favor and I will see you in the next video. Peace!